Good morning, boys and girls. Happy Wednesday. We are halfway through our week. I hope everything is going well for you. Um, and I really appreciate all the work that you're putting in. Um, parents, I appreciate that you're bringing your kids in to meet with their teachers. I appreciate that you're here to pick up packets. Um, I'm just really thankful for all you guys are doing to make it the best that we possibly can this year um, in the middle of a crisis. So thank you for all that you're doing. And let's begin our Wednesday together in prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. From Jesus Calling I want you to relax and enjoy this day. It's easy to focus so much on the things you want to get done that you push yourself too hard and forget to rest. You judge yourself and decide how good a day you have had based on how much you've gotten done. Schoolwork and practice, time with friends and family, chores, there's definitely a time and a place for all of those things, and I want you to use the abilities and hours I've given you, but I also want you to understand that it's okay to rest. In fact, it's important. Rest in knowing that you're a child of God, saved by grace because you believe in me. This is who you really are. You are a prince or a princess in my heavenly kingdom. Remembering that you are mine will help you balance your times of resting and busyness. Knowing that you are my child helps you understand that you are loved because of who you are, not what you do. And when you take time to rest, you'll do better work for my kingdom. I'll wake up your mind and you'll be able to think more clearly and more like me. A rested soul is kinder and more loving to others. So spend time with me and let me lead you beside the quiet waters of rest. A reading from the book of Psalms. The Lord is my shepherd. I have everything I need. He lets me rest in fields of green grass and leads me to quiet pools of fresh water. He gives me new strength. He guides me in the right paths as he has promised. Even if I go through the deepest darkness, I will not be afraid, Lord, for you are with me. Your shepherd's rod and staff protect me. You prepare a banquet for me where all of my en enemies can see me. You welcome me as an honored guest and fill my cup to the brim. I know that your goodness and love will be with me all my life and your house will be my home as long as I live. The word of the Lord. And we pray together, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I'm going to tell you the same thing that I do every day. If you need anything, we are here for you. Um, just let us know. But we really do appreciate all that you're doing and we know that it's hard work. Um, to not be here and to be at home and distance learning, but we know that you're doing the best thing that you can for you to stay safe and healthy. Um, but if you need us, we are absolutely here for you. Just reach out and let us know. I'll see you soon.